What's up guys, Dan here, and today I have a Clash of Rebellions boost box opening. So, yep, obviously, this is the next main set which has come out. Um, kind of like a, you know, the, the next year of, you know, sets that are coming out. Like, kind of, Daughter's Alliance was the last year starter, and now this is the next year starter, which is cool. So, yeah, this box is not too bad. The set has got a lot of good cards in it, but obviously the variety is a bit random. I think some of them don't really make much sense considering how much of them are like competitive compared to well you know the secret rares they're not as good as like some of the commons or you know super rares or whatever so it's kind of unusual but um without further ado I get straight into the box uh, and yeah so let's see how we do out of this I'm not sure the ratios will have changed or not because obviously it's always been the same since Judgment of the Light, which was actually the first main Musa set I opened in this box. So, obviously, they've kept the trend of the same blue box, like kind of stuff like this. So, yeah, they may have changed the uh, trend of maybe ultimates and all that. I don't know. And you might get more ultimates per box. Let's find out though. I've got this, all this white dust. I guess it's all the cardboard. But, yeah, a lot of cool stuff in the set. Red Eye support, obviously and a lot of the new archetypes which are coming into play for this year. Ignites and Arrow Mages and a lot of others. So, Rank Up Magic Raptors Force, Despot 005, Performer, uh, Performer Mage Flame Eater, Ko2, the Waterfront, Arrow Mage Bergamot, and Return of Red Eyes, which obviously came as a promo in the previous set. Uh, Perform Power Silver Claw, which is our OCG exclusive, Trick Box, and a Backup Rider. So, a lot of cool commons actually in this set. Um, they're all really playable, to be honest. Um, I guess Konami are aiming for a cheaper competitive scene. But, obviously, there's still a lot of competitive cards which are high rarity, so, you know, it's not really <laughs> that much change. Uh, DD Pandora, side effects, I think it's a short print. Before Pal Drummarilla, Drummarilla, Extinction of Schedule. Ignite Burst is our rare, and Ignite Gallant is our common. Uh, as common, as our, yeah, common, and a lot of more other stuff in this. There's obviously a few short prints which actually are really uh, quite expensive. I think they'll be like Vanity's Emptiness type stuff, like uh, Chicken Game is, is one of them. So I think it'll be up there with Vanity's, em Vanity's Emptiness as one of the best short prints in a set. Uh, Kanaga there, I can't even pronounce that. Kanaga, Kanaga, Camelump, Despot 005, Escher the Frost Vassal, Vassal. And a super rare brilliant fusion, so one of the gem knight supports cards. Um, kind of unusual actually, because normally a lot of support cards, if you've noticed in the past, like um, the blaze accelerator, the evo singularity, the diamond core, you know, card, they've all been common. So it's kind of unusual actually getting, you know, late support as hollows. It's kind of unusual, especially in, this, in the case of spells and traps. It's a bit unusual. So, a few more there. Actually, Balance of Judgment, another Judgment type card. Arrow Mage Kanaga. Man Dragon. I don't know what this is all about. This is a normal one. <laughs> this is a strange card, okay. I'm not sure if it can be used. Ignite Squire. Used in the Ignite deck. I think all the Ignites are pretty much used in the uh, deck for this set. Uh, Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch. Bird of Paradise Lost. Cosmo Forerunner, so the new 2CG exclusive archetype coming into play here. Um, I probably won't talk much about it. Oh, Secret Blast, that's another short print, I think. I'm not too sure if what which one's a short print or not, but we'll soon find out. Um, but Cosmo Forerunner's one of the rares played in the Cosmo deck, which I don't know how good it will be. It's still a bit too early to find out. Aroma Jar. <laughs> uh, Dogo Ran, the Mad Flame Kaiju, another TCG exclusive stuff. This new dinosaur type archetype which involves tributing your opponent's monsters, similar to like Larval Golem. Um, it's quite interesting. But yeah, lots of stuff in here. Deskbox 005, actually a pendulum, the first one, which is the pendulum. Uh, extra Buck is our rare. Another Secret Blast. Oh, Wavering Eyes, of course, the uh, overpowered pendulum support card. Ridiculously good, obviously, using Cleeforts and probably a few other uh, 
decks like maybe Ignites as well. Four Mage Flame Eater. Ignite Lancer and a Ultra Rare Ignister Prominence, the Blasting Draco Slayer. So I guess that's one of the Ignite cards. I don't know, I'm not too sure. But it looks pretty sick. I mean, look at that, that's powerful. I'm not too sure about the prices of a lot of these hollows. Um, it's kind of a bit all over the place. And obviously, the red eye supply I still think would be very good, even though they're not, not too competitive. They'll be pretty um, like good because obviously it's like a old archetype. Uh, Perform Mage Damage Juggler. I've seen quite a lot of those. DDD Oracle King Diarc. I think that's actually quite a, a good card, I think. So I can't read. Oh, obviously, Trek Clown. Unfortunately, Lavarval Chain's banned, so. No messing about with uh, the poor mages. Campbell Lump, Retaliating Sea, a very uh, cool new sea support card. Crystal Rose. And, uh, oh, <coughs> pardon, uh, apologies for that cough. I got a little bit of hay fever. And um, yeah, and so another waving eyes there, if you saw. And yeah, let's see, Mystery Shell Dragon. Oh, another 2000 attack normal monster. Cool. Might be a short print again. Sky Dragoons of Draconia. So, so far, only two hollows, so not a, two, it's not a huge amount. And Red Black Metal Dragon, obviously, another support card for Red Eyes. So, final pack on the right side. Read up to Fuzzy Lanius. A Kumongoose, the Sticky String Kaiju, and a Dried Winds. Um, is that a Cosmic? I don't know. I think that's a Aromage card, isn't it? Yeah. Ar Aroma support. <laughs> so, oh, look at that Ignite stuff. Three in a row. And there we go, the infamous Chicken Game. That will go in our cool pile. That is obviously one of the best short prints in the set, I believe. Um, very good, actually. I'm surprised that they didn't actually rarity bump it. But, uh... I guess Konami thought, you know, short print will be a little bit better, so you can actually get money out of the hollows later on down the line. Um, Ignite Burst. So, yep, still more of the same commons, really. At the moment, only two supers and a ultra. We need like another ultra and a secret, of course. Cosmo 4 and up. Cosmo 4 and a, sorry. Very cool. Obviously, I would like to get the uh, Cosmo Ultra and Super, which are quite good at the moment. They're expected to be very good cards in the future. Toon Cyber Dragon is our rare, and a Ignite Templar. So that's actually really good. Very nice uh, Ultra. Um, is using the deck. I'm pretty sure all the Ignites are using Freeze, like that are like kind of level four to level five. I can't remember really. But yes, Ignite Templar, ultra rare, very nice, good uh, support for Ignites. Obviously, it's a used as a high scale and is a good beat stick as well. So, Bowl Barrier, Crystal Rose, and a Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. So, that is obviously kind of like the Summon Skull version, but as a Red Eyes Archfiend of Lightning. I think they had a lot of Archfiend. Type uh, red eyes type cards. It's kind of cool to see more of them available, and obviously it's used in the fusion, so it can be used as a part of the fusion. Uh, perform mage trapeze magician, and a uh, perform mage trick clown. I don't think actually no secret blast doesn't seem to be short print. I don't think that's short print. I've already got three of it, so I'm pretty sure it isn't. And chicken game, I've only got one at the moment, so. Magical Abductor, Black Metal Dragon, that's cool. Chicken games are probably going to be quite expensive because of the fact that it's only... Short prints are typically going to be, well, I don't know how many per box, but obviously the standard is normally about one or two, but uh, Comungus, the Sticky String Kaiju. Another Wavering Eyes, that's cool, I've got four of them now. Ignite Squire. I've had, sold, I've had so many sold on my eBay uh, shop. That's on the supers, but uh, I'm not sure how the commons will do. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Escher the Frost Vassal, and a Odd-Eyed Rebellion Dragon. 
Nice. That is that is a nice secret. That is really cool. So the first XZ pendulum monster we have got in the TCG. And it's on eyes rebellion dragon. Nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Really cool. So we're doing pretty well so far, I think. Um I mean I would like to have got the Cosmo Ultra, but do you want the set's actually pretty decent overall, so a lot of the cards are cool. Cosmo Forerunner and a Ignite Crusader. So is this pretty much a cr um a Ignite uh box? So this is actually turned to be pretty cool. Okay, we've got a few more packs left on the left side. Obviously to finish the box. And what do we have here? Ignite Champion. So just a few more. The same commons. Can we get another chicken game? That'd be pretty sick. Roma Jar. Perform Mage Trapeze Medition. And some more. Same commons of the last pack. And let's see how we can do out of this. Another super or an ultimate. That'd be cool. Cosmo Town and a Yankee Medition. Yankee. Yankee. Yankee Medition. Sick. So if you've seen news into the pendulum support. So that is pretty sick. Another wavering eyes. Wow, I've got loads of these. <laughs> I think I have like five in one box. But um anyway, let's go through this pretty cool recap. Um a lot of cool support here, and very, very, very nice pulls, I'd say. Not amazing, but pretty cool. Anyway, Brilliant Fusion, super. Yankee, Magician, super. Ignite Crusader, super. Red Eyes, Archfiend of Lightning, super. Dried, uh, Dried Winds. And after the Ultras, we have Igniter, uh, Prominence, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, Ignite Templar. There's our two Ultras, and then we have a Secret Rare, Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragons. I assume it's probably still the same amount of Ultimates per box. But uh, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe as always. Also, don't forget to check out my eBay shop. I'll have all these listed up on the sh uh, on the shop, of course. And any of the, obviously, booster boxes available from Yu-Gi-Oh! So, actually, I've got the new Battle City boxes coming, so... That'd be pretty cool. You can check those out if you want to buy any of the packs or the boxes. And obviously I sell any other TCG related content like Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and of course, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to do as I obviously said. Comment, like, subscribe as always. And thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in a future video.